Okay, everyone, welcome to the first video for this project, um, Studio 4 for the spring semester of 2020. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started with the realism painting. Uh, this is one of two paintings that you'll have to do for this project. One realist slash naturalist, one slash imp one will be impressionism slash post-impressionism. So um, this is the base for the uh, realist slash naturalist painting. I've got a piece of paper. It's taped down here with masking tape. Um, it's mostly out of the frame, but you can see it here along the bottom. I've taped all four sides down to the table to keep the paper from warping too much from the paint. And then I have a few paintbrushes here in different sizes, but you can use whatever you have available. And then I've got my paint and water ready to use. So um, really quickly, I'm just going to go over a few tips for painting in this um, realist way. Of course, trying to do this in a really quick video is not going to produce results that are as good as the actual realist um, painters that we're studying in class, but we can get a little bit of a similar result, right? So I've already put in a background that's like a neutral, um, kind of a, a dull neutral color, the background, just because I wanted to save time on making this video. So we're going to jump straight into painting these flowers. And the thing that I wanted to show you on this part is that we do have a little bit of color in the vase, even though it's a clear glass vase. And that's going to include a little bit of this brown, which is the brown that I used in the table. A little bit of that is going to show through. Maybe it gets bent a little bit by the light moving through the glass and the water. So maybe it blends a little bit with this blue shade that we have. Okay. And the same is going to be true for when you get to the stems of the flowers. So the stems of the flowers are going to be coming down in this face. Obviously you guys can paint whatever you want. I chose to make a painting of a vase of flowers that I happen to have on my desk. We've got a few different shades of green, maybe some darker green coming in here. We're also going to have it appear in the upper part of the vase. Now, when you're doing this, I would tell you to keep in mind that this example that I'm doing is still fairly abstract because, like I said, for the instructional video, I don't have the luxury of taking as much time as the realist painters that we studied in class. So just keep in mind 
that this version is a little bit rushed and if you want to take more time and add more detail, that would be awesome. You can sit and add as much detail as you would like. I also do want to point out that I do have a very um, light pencil outline. On my paper. I did that before we started um, because the um, realist painters would plan out their paintings more than the impressionists or post-impressionists. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're gonna go to starting to paint some of these flowers. This is a really pretty um, mix of flowers, so there's a lot of stuff going on. In this vase. So we've got some pink roses that have this kind of red stripey thing going on that I'm going to have to mix really quick. And remember that whenever you are doing your realist and naturalist paintings, you are not only allowed to mix your colors, you're encouraged to because that is one of the big main differences in the paintings of the realists and the um, impressionists and post-impressionists, right? The realists would mix their colors. So I've got these roses that have their like pink and then they have these kind of splashes of red stripey stuff on them. They're really pretty. So I've got that. And then I've got these really cool purple daisy things. And they've got this really kind of wild shape. So we're going to go in there like that. And then we've got another one of these guys over here. And remember that even though these, um, oops, even though these paintings are, uh, it's a realist painting. The nice thing about natural shapes like flowers is that they're very forgiving because they have an organic shape. So you can actually have a lot of variation and you don't have to get these just absolutely perfect for them to look like flowers. Because flowers have all different shapes. So then we've got some really nice red flowers in here. And 
And this guy's kind of like behind these other daisies. And then we've got one standing up really tall. up here at the top of the arrangement. Okay, so we've got those guys done. And now we have some uh, white daisies, but what I'm gonna do For the purposes of this video because I want you to be able to see well what I'm doing is I'm going to paint these kind of a light yellow so I'm mixing a nice kind of lighter yellow on my palette over here and then We're gonna come in and put kind of the rough shape of these daisies in here. Okay, we'll come back to those daisies in just a second when some of that paint dries just a little bit. And we're going to come in and do the leaves and stems of all the flowers. Now remember, you guys are doing naturalism, so mix those greens. Use some different greens. All right, there's a lot of variety in what you can do here. We have kind of a big curly leaf thing going on here. It's a couple of different shades of green. We've got the little leaves that cover up these little rosebuds and their stems coming down. We've got the leaves on our red flowers. And basically the rest of this space that's in between these flowers is taken up with leaves 
and stems and little filler things. There's um, a bud that's coming up out of the top. And then there's another one kind of further back so it looks smaller. And then our daisies have got these nice little centers that are kind of this pretty golden brown. So maybe we put some little centers in our daisies. Come in and fill some more of the space with some more leaves. I've got this kind of crazy curly leaf coming off the side here. And then another thing that you can do that will help this um, become more of a realistic painting is you can come in and you can add some darker shades where the shapes overlap. So maybe on this red flower where the petals come toward the center and they kind of overlap each other Maybe we've got some um, darker red and up here as well to kind of separate some of the petals so that you can see a little bit of what's going on. On our purple one, we've actually got more than one layer of petals. So maybe we come back in with some darker petals on the top to kind of show that layering. And then on our daisies, I'm gonna use a finer brush. On our daisies, we can come in a little bit of a darker gold and add some definition to those petals. This one's really dark. I'm gonna water that down a little bit. Well, that daisy just got a little bit darker, but that's okay. And then, like I was saying before, um, with the way things overlap, we've got this bow here. Now it doesn't look like, you know, kind of a cartoon perfect bow, but that's because that's not how it looks in real life, right? So we've got... This big ribbon that's kind of tied into a floppy bow around this vase.
and then as I was saying with the um, the way the colors overlap each other where the bow kind of comes together it's going to be a little bit darker So we can add some definition that way. Okay. So I would keep going, fill in some more of these spaces around the flowers with some leaves. Um, maybe come back in with white and add some highlights on the flower vase. But um, here we go. This is uh, the realist slash naturalist painting for the Unit 4 project. Hope you enjoyed.